I'm Scott Euknes for Climate Impact Company. Let's take a look at the remainder of summer through next winter climate forecasts for North America. Now, since May, we've seen record heat across much of the United States, but in August, we expect a pattern change. Across the Great Plains, a cooler than normal climate is expected, with warm and humid conditions lingering across the northeastern United States. The southwest to Texas drought zone will be hotter than normal. Wetter than normal precipitation pattern is likely for the Corn Belt, lots of thunderstorms in that zone, where tropical cyclone activity could bring wetter than normal conditions to the Gulf of Mexico region and also the Mid-Atlantic coastline. Now looking forward to autumn and winter, El Nino is confidently forecast, but what we're not certain of is the type of El Nino that will evolve. An El Nino Modaki is possible. El Nino Modaki means that the warmth in the East Pacific causing the El Nino is biased towards the dateline. In that condition, the autumn season climate forecast will favor anomalous warmth across the northern United States and Canada, while most of the United States is actually temperate. The main feature during autumn will be a wetter than normal forecast beginning across the uh, southern and southeastern portion of the United States, which is a classic El Nino signature. So the dryness, the drought conditions across much of the southern U.S. will begin to fade once we go through the autumn season. Next winter is an interesting forecast. Usually El Nino causes a dry and warm pattern across the northern and eastern U.S., but an El Nino Modaki is different. The eastern United States will be colder and snowier than normal, while the southern states remain wetter than normal, killing off the uh, drought condition that's been down there so far this year. The northern part of the United States will be a bit milder than normal during winter.